Hello all. In this video, we shall see how to configure XB modems of type series 2. This is S2 XB modem. S2 is a series 2 modem which works under ZigBee protocol compared to that of S1 modem which works on 802.15.4 protocol. These are the hardware required to start the configuration. This is the XB Explorer board of USB type. It doesn't need any external power supply. And it has got a built-in 3.3 volt regulator. As XB modems work on 3.3 volt power supply. And A to B USB cable is used to connect this modem to your PC. To start with, plug in the S2 modem onto the Explorer board. You can see a small printout which is pin 10. This is pin 1 and this is pin 10. And pin 10 is ground point. You plug in properly into the sockets so that pin 10 matches the ground point of the XP Explorer. At the back side of the board if you see that broad patch is the ground point and it ends up at uh, pin 10 that is the ground pin. Cache should be taken to plug in properly the S2 modem onto the Explorer board. Using the A to B USB cable connect this to your one of the USB ports of your PC. As soon as you connect the USB cable to the PC, this power LED starts glowing and the second LED starts blinking. Same way connect the second S2 modem onto the Explorer board. And connect it to the second USB port of your PC. Now we shall make use of the XCTU software to configure this modem so that they can communicate. Open up the device manager and scroll down to ports. There you can see the USB serial ports allowed at COM13 and COM14. If this is not recognized, then you have to download the FTDA drivers for the Explorer boards. Close down the device manager and fire up XCTU software. This is the opening window of uh, XCTU software. You can see already this uh, both the e Explorer boards are uh, detected and allotted COM13 and COM14. Select the baud rate as 9600, flow control none, data bits 8, parity none and stop bits 1. And ensure that this enable API is not checked. We are not going to use API, we are going to use AT. Select the USB serial port COM13 and click on test query button. XCTU has detected a modem at uh, COM13 port and this is the serial number which you see it on the back side of the modem, S2 modem. Click on modem configuration and check this always update firmware and click this read button. Under function set, you select Zigbee coordinator AT. You confirm that you are selecting coordinator AT and not this API. Select this AT. Modem type is XB24ZB, that is a Zigbee protocol series 2 type. And under networking, there is a PAN ID. 
you can leave it as zero or you can enter any four digit number i'm going to enter 3312 and note on this operating channel it is allotted 13 so the other modem also should operate at the same channel number under addressing you can see the serial number high and serial number low this is the same serial number you find it on the back side of the S2 modem scroll further down and confirm that the baud rate is 3 that is 9600 and the node identifier you have to enter as coordinator click on this ni node identifier click on this ni node identifier and click the set button you enter as coordinator you can enter any name but to be precise you enter coordinator for the first model click ok now click on write now writing parameters is complete keep this window aside fire up the second instance of XCTU software in that select the COM14 where you have connected the second modem confirm that the baud rate is 9600 data bits 8 parity none and stop bits 1 do not check this enable API click on test query now XCTU has detected another modem at COM14 click on this modem configuration check this always update firmware and click on read under function set you select zigbee router AT not API router AT modem type is XB24 is it B it is automatically selected under pan ID you provide the same number we are given for the coordinator that is 3312 now the configurations are written now you have to enter the destination address for both the modems under COM14 which is the router check the destination address high it should be same as the serial number SH of the first modem first modem is 13A200 so enter this 13A200 and destination address low should be same as the SL serial number low of the first modem which is 408 ADA92 ADA92 click on write first window you click on the destination address high should be same as the serial number high of the second modem which is 13A200 enter that and destination address low should be same as the serial number low of the second modem which is uh, 408A DB1E now click on write now click on terminal on COM13 port also click on terminal on COM14 now type in some text inside this COM13 it will be received under COM14 same way you type in some 
text inside COM14. It will be received under COM13. Now the communication is established. You can test the AT commands. Just type in three consecutive plus symbols and wait. It will enter into the command mode. Do not even enter. Do not even type the enter. Just type three consecutive plus symbols. It will enter into the command mode. If you are not typing anything for uh, 10 seconds, it will enter into the transmit mode. Again, type three consecutive plus symbols. It has entered into command mode. Type ATID to know the PAN ID. 3312 is the PAN ID. ATSH for serial number high and ATSL for serial number low. ATDL for destination address low. ATCN to kit. If you are not typing anything for uh, 10 seconds, it will auto automatically go to the transmit mode. Same way in the COM14 terminal, type 3 consecutive plus symbols to enter into command mode. ATID, it is 3312, it should be same as the as that of the first modem. Type ATSL, serial low, destination address low, ATDL. You can see the ATSL serial number low of the second one is the same as the destination address ATDL of the first one and the serial number ATSL of the first one is the same as the ATDL destination address of the second one. Now you can remove the modems from the explorer boards and connect it to the microcontroller. Thank you for watching.